Look at that family getting a fun pick. What a fun one. And who wouldn't want a fun one when you're standing in front of this? Do you know what that is right there? That is Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox out here at the Trees of Mystery. One of my favorite places on earth. The Trees of Mystery featured in the old school Ripley's Believe It or Not newspaper strip when that was a very big deal. Became a very famous stop on the northern portion of the Redwood Highway here in Northern California among the giant Redwoods. There's a couple of big old monster old growth giants on the property, a couple of weird trees, a lightning tree, a squiggle tree, an octopus tree, that kind of thing. And it's one of my favorite places in California. It's one of my favorite places in the world. It's a little bit cloudy, it's a little bit dark. I'm not sure how any camera footage is gonna look in there, but we might as well bring you along because it's also the sometimes vlog. I sounded weird when I said that, didn't I sound weird? I went, it's a sometimes vlog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a vlog that happens sometimes. And here's Good London, afternoon. say hello London. Hi. Hi, and here is Paul Bunyan up there talking to people and look at his hand is actually working. Now, am I crazy or did his head move? I thought his head Hello. moved. I can hardly hear you back there. If you get close to me, I can answer your questions a lot better. He's talking Babe to people. Babe is about 150 years old. See, so it's hard to, I was just explaining to London. Babe, not Babe the Blue Ox. Yeah, imagine how much meat cleaver did. Can you hear that? Paul Bunyan is talking to people and now it's hard, but the hard part is, I've been out here many times, I've tried to film Paul Bunyan talking to the audience many, many times, but it's very hard to figure out where he can hear you from. One lady asked him a question. She was standing way over here, and he, and he could hear her cl crystal clear. Oh. I'm trying to hear. I didn't even hear what he said right there. Okay, hold on. It's too muffly right here. It's too muffly. It's hard to hear him from certain spots, and it's hard to figure out where he can hear you from, from somewhere inside this fence. He keeps telling people, look at that big old wheel right there. He keeps telling people to get close to him, but I've stood right by his feet. Oh. 1732. He's telling her when he was born, and she's now this little group standing right there. So he can hear you from pretty close. No, sadly no. I really want to know like how wide the microphone range is and all that stuff. London's been out here with me before. We didn't film it, I think. Dude, I don't think we filmed anything, did we? Bluebird? Blue Jay? Uh, I don't think we filmed anything out here, did we? We were here with my dad and my brother, and we just roamed around and did something insane in here, which we're gonna try to capture again. So this won't be a very long video, uh, especially because you can see how misty and cloudy this is all rolling in off the ocean here. And the GoPro that we're using at the moment is not very good in low light. And trust me, if it's low light out here and kind of grainy, when you get under the canopy of the trees, it gets very dark. It's about like 63 degrees, something like that out here. And very, very comfortable and nice and lovely. But once we get in there, it actually gets cold. It gets damp and moist because all this moisture in the air, redwood trees are giant, uh, they get their moisture from the air like that. So they're basically just giant pipe cleaners. They're sucking in the moisture and you can feel the moist undergrowth and the ferny uh in there i don't know what i'm talking about we are really unprepared for this because we just well we didn't have well, time to build this vlog or scaler to paint it because we just woke up in nearby yeah, crescent city literally just a little bit ago and uh, we're on our way home we're making our way homewards now from our little trip so the farthest we got was sort of the southern the southwestern portion of washington just past Astoria, Oregon. Uh, we saw some Goonies stuff. We hung out. London, being 16, is mostly excited about like getting food, hanging out in the hotel, you know, going into the, the restaurants and stuff like that. The kind of stuff that we don't do on camera. And, uh, but he's been having a good time. And I know you are pretty relieved to be going home in time to empty your backpack, get some school supplies and be prepared, aren't you? You're actually looking forward to being in your home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But did you have fun? Mm -hmm. Are you still having fun? Mm -hmm. You're having the most fun ever, except for when we're in the car just driving and driving and driving like we did for 10 hours yesterday. Oh, actually, this is the perfect time to mention what happened yesterday. And we'll actually need London for this explanation. What happened yesterday? 
what happened yesterday? Yeah, what happened yesterday? You're not even remembering what happened yesterday. Okay. <laughs> yesterday, we were driving down. We were supposed to drive down the 101, down the coast. And uh -oh. I found out that the bridge was out in Newport, Oregon. Because he keeps talking. He's so loud out here. You're interrupting Mr. Paul Bunyan. <laughs> I found out the bridge was closed in Newport, Oregon. So we were going to have to find another way. Lennon has headphones on. He was kind of ignoring the world. We were going for a long drive. All of a sudden, instead of rerouting us all the way into the interior of Oregon and then back out to the coast, the directions changed. That, oh, there's a little detour around, just around the bridge. It's only like a 30-mile detour, a 40-mile detour. I told you, we're still waking up. And so all of a sudden, you open your eyes, and where are we? Dirt road. On a dirt road, a dirt logging road going around Newport, Oregon in the middle of nowhere. So all of a sudden we hit this dirt and gravel road. Uh, the whole highway is on this dirt and gravel road. Like imagine all the traffic on US 101 is all of a sudden all on this dirt road, powering up the hill all crazy. We're behind a big van. There's huge dust clouds everywhere. Super low visibility. You can't see anything. And uh, we're powering up the hill. And it starts going for miles. Dude, I thought at first, I'm like, oh, this is like, maybe it's just taking us over this little section of logging roads, right? It's going to be five or ten minutes. Before we stopped, how long would you say it was? 30 minutes? 30, 40 yeah. minutes. 30 or 40 minutes we're on this logging road. I'm like, oh, my gosh. And I can still see, even though there's no cell phone service, I can sort of see on what's left of the map from left over from the cell phone service. I could see that we're halfway. I'm like, okay, we're halfway though. Just got to keep powering through. I'm worried about my car on the gravel road. It's not really meant for, the Ford Escape is not really me meant. The 2017 Ford Escape is not really meant for, it's not a Bronco. It's not a Jeep Wrangler or anything like that. This, uh, this lady just really wanted to come. She just really wanted to be part of our family. <laughs> Sorry, lady. <laughs> so we're, we're not taking applications, but we'll let you know. Um, yeah, so it's not really meant for off-road travel. It's not meant for anything like that. And I was worried about the car. And then I was thinking to myself, self, I really hope there's no service up here. I really hope I don't pop a tire. And uh, I'm thinking about myself, like, I don't want to pop a tire. And then I started thinking, man, I hope nobody pops a tire in front of me either. Or we're going to be stuck on this road a long time. There's no cell phone service, no AAA, there's no nothing. And then all of a sudden... We're, we're probably, I don't know, we're probably 45 minutes into this or maybe, I don't know, a long, a long way into the forest into, and you're stressed, you're kind of like, you feel that anxiety. I've got both hands on the steering wheel, so it seemed longer than it really was. Am I boring you with my story? <laughs> and, and then all of a sudden we all come to a halt. Eight miles from, eight miles from getting back to the highway, everything stops. And it stops, you know, like, okay, maybe it's two-way traffic, someone's getting caught around a tight curve, or they close half the road, or maybe this is the line for everyone to left turn onto the, back onto the highway. And then it, it's, and then you see all the lights turn off, and people, right, did you notice that people are just turning off their engines? And then you see people start to get out of their cars, and we're like holding on hope, I'm still keeping the car running, like, come on, let's go! And then we were stuck on the road for what? An hour. An hour at least. I think it might have been more like two hours. We're stuck out on this. I think it actually was like two hours or something. It was really long. But we, so the first hour was like an hour that we were just sitting there. And then we finally got out, made friends with the neighbors. There was one house. It was the first house coming in from these mountains. And it was an old hippie guy. He's like, I moved out here 30 years ago. He was like, he was telling me when you were walking. London went to walk ahead and see like what the trouble was, what was going on, why we were all stuck stuck on this logging road, uh, which had just become like a rural road. And uh, so I felt a little bit better. At least there's civilization, right? But it's like, we could be here for the rest of our lives. Who knows? <laughs> this old guy was like, uh, he's like, man, we've never seen anything like this. They were like, he was like coming out and taking pictures and stuff. He had like wild turkeys in his yard and these apples that he's growing. And then another guy was like, hey, I've been up here. I bought an apple from you before. You missed this whole thing. The guy was like, I bought apples from you down on the highway before one time. They were really good. So Johnny Appleseed up there goes, there's an old Chinese proverb, man. Cause I was like, oh, how you like living up here? It's an old Chinese proverb, man. The wise man buys the cheapest land. And that's what I did. I bought the cheapest land, man. It's great up here, man. And I was like, that's that's awesome. All I could think was like the desert by our house though. Like the mm -hmm. very cheapest land. And I'm thinking, the wise man doesn't always buy the cheapest land. Maybe the wise man buys the cheapest land on the logging road. Anyway, 
London and I finally walked up. How far was it? Like a quarter mile or something? It was only like a quarter mile in front of us. We walked up and saw what happened was a family, because the dust cloud apparently just did not see the turn, turn. <laughs> Can I help you, sir? <laughs> We're just waking up. You need caffeine. You need a little caffeine, a little pick me up, a little soda or something, a little sugar. Eh, we'll go to the gift shop and get some sugar. We haven't eaten breakfast or anything. But anyway, to make a long story longer, uh, a family had, had not seen the dust cloud and had careened off the road down into the creek and uh, in a minivan, they were okay. Everybody was all right, like physically okay, intact. The fire trucks got up there quick, the ambulance got up there quick, but they had heimbucked all the cars to get them out of the way to get the family. And I didn't even see a truck there to tow their car out. I saw a truck there to tow another car. Can you hold this really quick? Mm -hmm. Hold that like that. I saw uh, there was another car that had broken down and they had come up to get that car. Um, but anyway, to make the long story short now, uh, we were heimbucked and stuck there for hours. By the time, so that whole adventure took an hour of us walking up and looking at it, and figuring out what went wrong, talking to everybody, chatting about all the dads out there, standing with our hands on our hips. Mm. Yeah, you'd think they would do such and such a way. And you hear, you hear all the older guys, huh? Where all the older, oh, you, you'd think they'd clear out the cars and they'd do whatever, just dad talk, huh? Mm -hmm. just like, Ugh. And you were like, this is so boring. This is, and I was telling you, this is going to be one of those stories you'll remember forever. All of a sudden, we're on a logging road. Trust me, son, I know a shortcut, mijo. We're going over the mountains all crazy. And then all of a sudden, it's like, Ur, and we're stuck in one of those <laughs> classic road trip movie traffic jams for hours. Have no idea what's going on. And finally, we were free. And then... That was at the beginning of our drive. So then we had another like six or seven hours of driving yesterday. And that is why London is tired. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was a very long story. I'm not gonna show you the whole trees of mystery. I've done that before on random land, but we are gonna go inside and try to show you the newest part of trees of mystery is a walk, like a giant Ewok style catwalk up inside the tall redwood trees in there. I don't know if this camera's gonna work to show you. So you might only get a couple of seconds of this. I don't mind. It is my nightmare. I did it with my dad and my brother and London because London really likes kites and trees and climbing on stuff. And you, it was no problem for you, right? Mm -hmm. So you enjoy it up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going in there because it's something London enjoys. It's something I absolutely hate. I'm absolutely terrified and petrified of this. I can't believe I'm doing this a second time because I believe I told you the last time I'm never doing this again. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll have to come back. I'll have to come back again, I know, because I've never filmed it with the proper, the random land thing. I know I'll have to come back again and face it again. That's what makes this the worst thing of all. <laughs> we're just going to do this for a couple of minutes for no reason other than to amuse London and to amuse you. So let's cut right to it. Let's get right inside Trees of Mystery. Let's go, shall we? <laughs> okay. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too dark up here. See, the thing is, since I filmed the main random land video here at Trees of Mystery, my main adventure here, they've added a new feature in the last couple of years. The Trees of Mystery Redwood Canopy Trail, which is right up there. The Ewoks came here during the pandemic and built this gargantuan walkway up to their village. I have been here one other time, like I mentioned, with my dad and my brother and London. And I did survive last time, much to London's amusement, right? Mm -hmm. You were laughing the whole time. He's running around up there. You're not supposed to run, run, but he was doing his thing. I mean, look at, look at the people back there, past the blue shirt guy. Look at how high up in the sky. And that's not even like halfway up the redwood trees themselves. That is quite, even this little stub here is quite a distance up the hill. All right, we doing this? All right, we're doing it. Oh. It was scary enough just looking at it from the ground. Then I made the mistake. Oh, even the stairs are scary. Scary stairs, scary scares. Oh my gosh, okay. It was scary enough just being on the ground. Then I made the mistake of looking at the pamphlet and it was like, enjoy platforms 50 to 80 to 100 feet off the ground. And even though these may remind you of Ewok villages up here, look who's here to greet us. It's Yoda. Mm. I'm not afraid, Yoda. You will be. You will be. And he's right, I will be. This is the stubbiest canopy of all. The first one, and look at that right away the money shot. You're not nervous at all, are you? 
No. Why? <laughs> Why doesn't this bother you? Do, do, do. Why doesn't that bother you? Oh, there he goes. Look at. There he goes out on the thing. Look at the size of that drop. Look at the way it shakes. Oh, no. I don't know about this, Lono. I don't, you all right? Yeah. I don't know if I can do this. It's fine. No, it's not fine. <laughs> Here comes my dad. I don't like it. <laughs> the worst part about this is that, is that I, is one is that you're on it, London. So it's shaking. <laughs> and two is that I know this is the shortest one and it feels like it's gonna snap and we're gonna fall. <laughs> don't think about it, just look up. <laughs> look at the redwood trees. Oh gosh, okay, you must go faster, must go faster, <laughs> must go faster. Uh, oh, oh, why? It was a lot easier when you were lighter. Oh, oh okay, okay, move, 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 <laughs> Oh, I never thought I'd be so grateful to be on a platform next to a freaking tree. You can look through the tree. Oh, don't tell me that. <laughs> you mean down the platform? Yeah, I'm not can... looking down there. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, it's like, I feel so accomplished. Like, I did it, guys, I did it. If that's all there was, I'd be so happy. I'd be like, I did it, I did it. That's not all there is. That's not all there is at all. Because now we get the higher ones. Dude, look how freaking high. I, by the way, I am clutching onto things for dear life. Look how <laughs> freaking high that is off the ground. Do you see how high you are right now? Mm -hmm. That doesn't bother you? No. Okay, you go ahead. You just go ahead to the next one. Oh, look at the way, oh my gosh. It's making this one shake. <laughs> I can feel his footsteps standing on this platform. This tree is moving. Maybe it's in my head. Maybe it's in my head. Okay, no jumping, no running, and most importantly, no smoking. <sighs> smoking would be a bad idea up here. I'm breathless enough as it is. Okay, you come, you come. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust you over there. You might step on it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate it. It's fine, but I hate it. It's fine. Everything's cool. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> okay. 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 We are doing this twice each time. The London is coming past me to uh, to get the shot of me coming across. Because if I'm doing this, I want it on the record that I did it. <laughs> it's like, there are things I would never do. But it's like, if I can do it for your guys' entertainment and you can get a chuckle, see, look at this, this is the biggest smile he's had the whole trip. You love this, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're enjoying my pain. Okay, there he goes, look at that. There he goes. Look at this, I can't, words cannot, exp look how <laughs> tiny the people are down there. Oh! Oh my gosh, that makes me sick. Anyway, it's 25 bucks a person to come to Trees of Mystery, and there are many old historic trees. Oh, now I have, it's my turn, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, does it make you dizzy at all? No. Not even a little bit? No. All right. Something's wrong with him. You know what's funny, though? Oh my gosh, people are coming. People are coming behind me. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> I guess I have to do it if there's people behind me. Okay. The thing is, I remember being in Gettysburg years ago at a battlefield lookout tower and uh, it was so high up. Oh, so high up off the ground. Oh my gosh, look at that. Why did I look? And your mom, got up there before me, like up the stairs of this battlefield, like fire lookout tower. Oh, and she was like hanging on the outside of the rail going, ha ha, isn't this funny? And I got dizzy from that. I got dizzy from watching people do it. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh, I thought I was gonna fall. I, I did it. I'm brave. This is my nightmare, this. Oh, oh, we'll hide out of your picture. Okay, come around the back of this tree. Oh, look at that. Like, oh my gosh, look how high we are just above them. Part of me enjoys this. Part of me is like, oh, isn't this fun? Like, there's this part of me that's seven years old that's like, yay, Ewok Village, yup, nub, yup, yup. 
hey, yeah, bye, nah, bye, nah, bye. And the other part of me that has a brain that can process consequences and fears is like, this is, who would do this? Why would they do this? <laughs> anyway, what I was going to say is, it's 25 bucks coming to Trees of Mystery. There are many historic trees and wonderful things to look at and redwood carving trails and stuff like that. And then they added like a skyline. What do you call that? Like a cable car thing. Mm -hmm. See, I'm just looking this way because look at this. Oh, it looks flatter from here. And, uh, and then that added to the value. So you get this like cable car ride up to the redwoods and that was all good and fine. And then now they've added this here. Oh, see, look. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was saying. She just said, me no likey. <laughs> See, I'm not the only one. They added this. So it adds even more value. So now your ticket is not just the trees of mystery, the classic trail, the redwood uh, log carvings, but you also get the uh, sky trail or whatever the heck it's called. Oh my gosh, I know I'm going to have to go. I know I'm going to have to go. She's coming. She said, you did it. <laughs> It's scary just because people keep coming behind me like, that means I have to go now. Uh, All right. It's scary when it bounces. Yes, I hate the bouncing and he's too heavy now. He's grown. <laughs> he's making it bounce. Okay, come on, London. We got to go together. We got to get out of the way so they can take their pictures. Why is it so bouncy with you on it? <laughs> oh, is this safe? Are you allowed to go two people? Why didn't I think of this before? It's so bouncy, you guys. Look at it. <laughs> Look at the way it bounces. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I know you're not allowed to run, but I want to run so bad. Okay. Oh. Like it's, it's a mix of wanting to run because of the fear, the terror, and not wanting to run because it says don't run, so I'm worried that it's just going to snap. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look how small the people are down there. Oh, how can you do that? How can you just lean over the side? I think you got that from your mother, dude. There's no fear whatsoever. My mom would never do this. It's Seth can do it. My brother can do it. My dad, she's okay. I, I think he was fine. I don't remember. Was he okay? It's up to my chest. I'll be fine. Was he okay up here, Grandpa? Uh, yeah, they were fine. I think he was fine. I don't remember. Did he stay on the ground? No. I don't know why I remember being... Oh, I remember being on the ground with him while you guys did it a second time. That's mm -hmm. what it was. You guys are insane. You did it twice. Okay. I'm extending the tripod so you can see the thing oh look at that look at that look at that not cool not cool all right there's a lot more trail to go i got to come back here and do this again random land style and i'm really scared <laughs> you can do it it's so scary oh look at that even seeing you guys from up here on that short platform it's so scary it's so <laughs> high it's not that high my spirit has left my body. <laughs> I'm in another dimension. Okay, I can do it. Come get this. Okay. You come. Oh. Okay. I I I believe in astral projection now. I believe in the soul separate from the body. I know because I'm floating somewhere out there down on the ground in safety. That's my body moves across and speaks uncomfortably. Oh, that's so scary. All right. Okay. Dude, I keep like leaning against the trees. There's nowhere safe to go. I keep coming over here. There's a person there. There's a person there. Then you see over here, there's a drop off there. There's a drop off there. There's no safety up here. <laughs> nowhere safe. There's nothing to do but get through it. Look how far we've come. We've come so far. Okay. Time for me to head down the scary stairs that lead to these platforms which are lower, thankfully, but somehow they're scarier. Look at the chasm down there. <laughs> I can't, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, as bad as things are up here, they have gotten worse because I just realized this is the part where you have to go down the spiral staircase, which is by far out of all the scary things, the scariest. And then you have to cross the scary bridges between platforms, London is over there. He's gonna get the top view of me being absolutely terrified just waiting for all these humans. Look at all those people crossing. Oh, so shaky. This is terrifying. I don't like this at all. Oh, the worst part, the spiral staircase hanging over the edge of the universe. I hate it. I hate it. I actually hate it. I hate this with my whole soul. This is not a joke. It's not for the camera. This is absolute terror. I can't 
handle the fear and the terror. Oh. Okay, I like how they have pool noodles right here. Protect, to protect your noodle. That was horrible. I am very scared. But at least down here is cleared out. The platform is cleared out somewhat. Because there was a bunch of people here. All kind of waiting to go across. Now I just wait my turn. Look at Lennon. He is grinning from ear to ear. He thinks this is hilarious. My fear is hilarious. Well, as long as he had a good summer vacation. <laughs> this is my least favorite thing. All right, here we go. There's a kid who had a breakdown back there. He's crying. I don't blame him. All right, oh gosh, oh gosh. I hate this. This is not cool. I don't like it. What are you smiling about? <laughs> oh, okay. Look at him. He's grinning. He thinks it's hilarious. I don't think this is hilarious. Oh. Hey, yabba dabba do. Oh my gosh, look at these people that don't even care. They're going in twos and threes and fours. We saw a family of like nine people crossing at once. Ah, none of them seem to mind the heights. There's a couple people like me who are nervous, but even they're going with three or four people at once. Oh. Okay, even you have to admit that spiral staircase is scary. <laughs> Not really. What? How can you say that when you're going down, it looks like you're going to freaking fall off the edge of the freaking universe. You have a handrail that's as big as your face. So. I don't know what's wrong with you. I'm glad that you're not afraid. I'm glad that you're strong and big now and you can carry me out of fires and disasters and all that. Oh. Look at it. This is <laughs> that is terrifying. Look how far down those people are. Anyway, I'm glad you're not scared, but I am scared. And we're getting closer to the hill, so it doesn't look as high up as it is. Don't shake it. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, it's the sturdiest bridge. It doesn't even shake. Okay. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Hurry. Get out of my way. <laughs> get out of my way. I can see ground. Hurry. It's one more bridge. Okay. Go, 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 go. Look Boing. at this. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> we're only as high as a house now. We're only as high as a house. <laughs> It's funny how all things are relative. Like, this would normally terrify me. If that was at a theme park or someone's backyard, I'd be like, are you insane? I'm not walking on that thing. But after that, that felt like nothing. All right, there you go. I have faced one of my greatest fears, again. Not for the first time and not for the last time, because I'll do it in, you know, better HD quality at some point, at some point. I'm not gonna be in a hurry to do it. I know I'll have to do it eventually. But uh, did you have fun at least? Mm-hmm. Would you say that's the most fun part of the trip? Mm-hmm. Watching me squirm up there? We did get stuck for a long time because massive groups were coming through. The kid that was having a breakdown was up there and then the groups were crowding around and then they were afraid of the spiral staircase. See, I'm not the only one afraid of the spiral <laughs> staircase. And, uh, and it was a long wait, but I was okay because I was up in a tree looking at the branches instead of the ground and I was like, okay, for a while. There's certain spots where I feel safe. And that one felt okay, even though it's technically the highest spot in the forest. All right, that's it from us, from Trees of Mystery. We gotta drive all the way back home. Not sure if we'll have any chance to stop because yesterday's delay and that whole traffic thing made, uh, made us a little bit behind schedule. And like I mentioned earlier, London really wants to get home in time just to have that relaxing you just don't want the anxiety is mm -hmm. that pre high school do you, do you get anxiety about going to school no who will be my friends you just want to be prepared yeah well you're a boy scout so that makes sense all right coming out of the end of the trail and i've officially done my duty please check the links down below in the description the patreon the merch <laughs> go home and sleep well or have nightmares forever about doing that what the heck is all of that